Hello and welcome to a short video on one of the features of Jabra Vision application. My name is Javed Tufel and today we will talk about the high quality whiteboard which is a built-in feature in Jabra Vision app. To use this feature your application should be up and running. We have a separate video that walks you through the installation and launch of application. Uh, if you have not watched it I would recommend to do so. Here I have a Jabra Vision application running. As you can see there are two sets of icon for a whiteboard feature. Here I have my Jabra Vision application running. As you can see there are two sets of icons for whiteboard feature. When you hover your mouse over the icon you will see the description of the button function. Um, the first one is the high quality whiteboard which we will talk about in this video and the second one is video plus uh, whiteboard which we will talk in our next video. Once you click on uh, the high quality whiteboard icon, it would launch a set of controls for you to define your whiteboard. Note that the icon color changes from white to Jabra yellow, indicating that the feature is now active. This is true for pretty much all of the buttons in the application. If you have already gone through the process of selecting the whiteboard once earlier, it would relaunch the whiteboard where you left off as it has done in my case. Uh, now, if you're trying to set up the whiteboard for the very first time, or if you want to set a new whiteboard, then you need to click on the whiteboard setup button, which is the first button in the middle row of the whiteboard controls. When you click on the whiteboard setup button, you will be presented with a snapshot of the video. In the high quality whiteboard mode, you will see the entire region being split in three, each covered by one of the cameras of Jabra Panacast. The reason why we do that is to use deep zoom of a single camera which allows the application to provide a high quality image of the whiteboard. It is advised that your whiteboard or blackboard or the region you are going to select should fall completely within one of these regions to take full advantage of the high quality whiteboard extraction. In any case, your selected whiteboard traverses two regions high quality whiteboard video will not be available and it will default to standard quality whiteboard. Now go ahead and define your whiteboard per the instructions that are shown on the right hand side of the snapshot. Two things you should be aware of. One, always go in a clockwise fashion. Uh, if you happen to go in the anti-clockwise fashion, um, you may end up with a mirror image extracted whiteboard. Number two, try to maintain a 16 by 9 aspect ratio or close to it. Um, if, if you try to extract a whiteboard in an elongated fashion or in a vertical fashion, that may also adversely affect the extracted region. On the right hand side, there are step by step instructions that guide you on the selection of whiteboard corners. Once you have selected all four corners of the whiteboard, the application immediately extracts the region, orthogonally corrects it, and presents it in a shareable content window. The application does an amazing job of uh, correcting the angle and make it appear as if the camera is right in front of the whiteboard, even though in reality the camera is actually pretty much parallel to the whiteboard. Now if you want to share this content with your remote attendees, you'll go to your conferencing application in use and share it with the remote attendees they will start seeing the shared content. Note that uh, when whiteboard is launched, your Panacast video in the preview vi video window also starts showing the whiteboard. The reason being that uh, we're using deep zoom with one camera only, and that it restricts the showing of full 180 degree field of view in the high quality whiteboard mode. You can further enhance the readability of the whiteboard by either using the brightness enhancement or the contrast enhancement uh, features. Those buttons work as toggle switches. So if I click on the brightness enhancement, uh, it would brighten the whiteboard and contrast enhancement obviously improves the contrast of the whiteboard. You can also save um, your whiteboard as JPEG file and share it with your remote attendees. Since it's a live whiteboard, you can save one whiteboard, then erase it and continue to use and save snapshots as necessary. The application also allows you to preset up to three whiteboards or three regions that you can share with your remote attendees with just one click. So in my case, um, I have already pre-selected my second uh, whiteboard or blackboard in this case, and I've also selected a region in the room which is about almost 15 feet away from me. 
So I can easily toggle uh, back and forth between these uh, whiteboards. In order to close the whiteboard, simply click on the whiteboard icon. It would close the shareable content window and the icon color changes back to original white, showing that it is not active anymore. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching.